at Christmas time, the holiday season. Let's go to the Nutcracker. It's the holiday tradition. This is what we're gonna do as our family. It's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful event, it's a beautiful story, it's a beautiful ballet. It's a production, it's a performance. But what goes into the road to the Nutcracker? For the auditions, I feel like I'm, well, one, stressed, um, definitely scared, and then I just don't know what's going to happen because before you go in, everyone's working so hard, we're all to that level, you know, because we want to get a specific role maybe or just like a good part that you want in the show. So we're all kind of feeling the same thing. We don't know what's to come because we're all at the same level and work ethic that we are. This year was a little different for me just because I knew it was my last year. And I was pretty relaxed this year just because, you know, I knew my friends would be right by my side. It's been that way for four years um, that we've been so close in Nutcracker. So it's nice knowing that I had them right next to me and that it's going to be that way again. So honestly, this year I didn't really care which queen part I got as long as like I was in the circle. Auditions are very difficult. I want my auditions to be very positive for the children, but then again, it's an audition and it's a learning process. One thing I find, because this is our 18th year, sometimes it's hard, there's nothing wrong with maybe not getting the part you want right away and not getting what you hope for because it gives them something to work for. And I think that's a really important lesson in life. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Normally every year when I go into auditions, I am cool with whatever part I get. I have like a few in mind, like, oh, this one's nice and this one's nice. But this year I was like set on, I wanted to be Snow Queen again. And it got into my head a lot because I really am, I'm someone that's cool with any part because I will do my hardest, I will put, my 150% into it. And after I heard that I didn't get Snow Queen, I mean, I got a little bummed on the inside, but then I thought about it. I'm like, a Spanish Queen's an amazing role. It's really awesome. My sister did it last year and she looked like a beast doing it. Like, I was like, I'm gonna look up to that and I'm gonna try harder. Well, everyone here is such an amazing dancer. Like, we're all trained from the same teachers. We all work our butts off, like, you know, trying to get that queen role. But, um, I mean, you get that little fiery feeling where you're like, oh, I really want it. Like, I'm gonna have to work even harder to get this role. And I'm gonna go that extra step, put that extra fire into my dancing. Like audition day, it's stressful. You know, you, they, um, 
they kind of go in knowing what they want and you know there's so many talented kids in this studio I mean they're just you really don't know so it's um, you just stress for them you hope that they go in and feel good about their audition and um, that they feel and that the um, the casting you know wants your kid or they, they nail it so it's it's stressful but it's also super super exciting going into auditions because you're you want to do really well you want to get certain parts sometimes so and then you're so worried about things you're like what if I mess up and they think I'm horrible or something you know I feel like you you don't always think you're doing your best while you're there so um, it's <laughs> it can be very stressful and as the season keeps going and you are rehearsing you're like I think at first you might even be a little worried, like what if I'm not prepared for performances, but you always get there. We always have tons of time rehearsing and making sure everything is perfect. And so leading up to that over the summer, it's like, oh, auditions, they're right around the corner, like kind of get yourself prepared. And it gets a little nerve wracking because you, you know, you never know what they're gonna give you. And I don't know, as the years go by, I get like, I don't know, I get more of like a relaxed, more excitement feeling, but when I was younger, always nervous, always making sure I'm getting like a thousand privates in before I get to the auditions. But I don't know, you know, where I am today, it's, it's more like of a, oh yes, it's finally here. Like, yay, glad I'm doing it. excitement. They were excited about the opportunity to be in the Nutcracker. This is their, my oldest, I think this is her third or fourth time in the Nutcracker. And then the younger one has been, this will be her, I think it's her third time being in the Nutcracker. So, you know, it's, it's fun to see, to come watch them look at the board and run their finger down and see which parts they got. So that's always fun. You know, as a parent, you always want the best for your kids but then you're also kind of hard on them too, right? So, you know, I always say things that I don't need to say because I know she's already done them, such as, Jordan, did you stretch? Jordan, are you ready? Do you have your point shoes? Do we need to order any new point shoes? You know, do you have the leotards you need? Um, Jordan, you need to make sure that when you are trying out, you are doing your best. You know, so do you need to go warm up for an hour? Do you need to do some bar work before? You know, just getting those thoughts in her mind, which I'm sure already exist, and she probably would prefer me not to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's how I prepare, I guess. I guess it's to instill in her that I expect the best from her, regardless of what audition, audition it is.
Auditions are life. This is, I always tell my students, just because you're not gonna be a professional dancer, what you learn at dance is life. We're auditioning for a job, for a real job. You're auditioning to get in college. You're auditioning every time you go somewhere and whether you know it or not, the skills that you learn in auditions you use in life. So that's what life's about. I do believe that anybody in life can achieve whatever they want if they put their mind, their heart, and their soul into it and the commitment that goes into it. You will make it happen if this is what you want, if this is your dream. There's not, the, my, my motto is the world is your stage, dance all over it. And I teach that to our dancers. They truly can make this happen if this is what they want to do. Work hard and they all want it. And it's, um, it's tough when you, I think when you're in this sport or like when you're doing dance and you're starting to rehearse and you're doing your privates and you're building up with your classes because they do kind of an intensive that builds up to auditions. So I think the girls are smart and they can kind of see who is hanging in there a little, you know, stronger than others and that can create tension and also make certain girls feel um, defeated sometimes even before they go into the audition process because they know who the girls that are kind of standing out even before they go in. The dance world is definitely a lot more competitive these days than it used to be. Um, it definitely rivals between the girls. I mean, I remember growing up and definitely not always constantly trying to be one up. Life is competitive, right? Uh, it's a big world. Uh, you know, this is a big controversy you hear nowadays. Everybody should get a ribbon or should everybody get a ribbon or no, you gotta win or lose, all that sort of stuff. Can, uh, here, they, it, it, it's a vibe of, um, it's not super competitive and everyone supports each other. Uh, I teach at, I've taught at many studios and I teach at different studios around town and out of state and everything. So I think I have a good uh, sense of how to compare, not compare, but just every studio is different. And you definitely can uh, tell that the teachers and, are really care a lot about their students and not only the students, but the families. And, what I've noticed here is that even the families are really supportive and really nice where as opposed to some other studios that I've been to, people get really competitive, even the parents. Um, so that's what's really nice here is that it's kind of everyone's like realizes that we're all on the same team and it's not my child against your child. It's just let's everyone do this together and, and as a whole we'll be better instead of spending energy and time on being competitive within the studio. You can also take it and make it a positive thing. It doesn't always have to be like negative tension. I mean, the reality of it is, is that we all want our kids to do well. I mean, I guess that's for me the biggest thing with my kids and what I try to like teach them is, you know, every kid deserves their day. And if it's not their day, it's how you handle yourself with grace. It's how you carry yourself into the realm. And um, that's just really important to me. A lot of life is competition to some extent. It doesn't mean you have to beat the other person. I guess I look at it more as, I don't know that I look at it as competition. I, I kind of frame it more as setting a goal. You know, this is what I want to do. How am I going to accomplish this? Um, and it's almost, it's not like they're competing with themselves, but they're kind of competing to make something happen. The one audition does not define you as a, a dancer or as a person. There's many auditions. There's going to be years of auditions. There's going to be years of, of different opportunities. That one moment in time does not define you as a person, as a dancer, or as a performer, but it's how you handle that moment in time. Alright, you know where. Okay, yeah, so go up to the right. So keep going straight up yeah, the mountain. Straight up the mountain. Okay, I'm here with Lex, my friend, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go around the community all over. We don't know where we're going yet. It could all be over. all over this great state of Arizona and put up yard signs in cast members' yards. 
So when they wake tomorrow morning, they're going to come out and find out what the part is they were cast in. Are you excited? Yes. Let's do it. Time to enjoy the magic. Morning 2017. Enjoying the magic. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> My first, very first thought was. Oh my God, my mom's gonna cry. <laughs> um, that was my first thought. My second thought was, oh my gosh, I'm sugar plum. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. It was pretty, um, like a stress had been lifted off. Um, this was the first year that my oldest is doing the Nutcracker. She's never done it before. And so having two girls um, that are auditioning it's stressful as a parent because there's a part of me you want them both to be happy like how are you going to juggle with that when you walk out and there's only one sign not two signs you know so I think my husband and I were like we either want no sign or two signs you know so um, but this year was amazing because they both got what they wanted and we couldn't it couldn't have been better but it was very stressful so I can see his face a little bit there you go oh my gosh like your sister, honey. <laughs> a big moment. This is a big moment. Yeah. This is it. There's two. There's two. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I'm on blood chocolate. Oh my goodness. You're Fritz. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited! 
I'm so scared. Yay. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Can I look? Oh, sorry, no cracker. <laughs> Once the cast is, is, is set, we start right away the very next weekend. It's, it's kind of a, whoa, we're here. Um, let's get this party started. Um, and then we pretty much just jump right into rehearsals. The first couple weeks, um, we don't change much choreography wise. We just kind of depend on the cast. After the audition process, you're chosen for your role, and then you just start the training like the next week on learning every single part and just learning the pieces and the dances and putting them together and the places. And so uh, we're going to take, take some advice from the ship She thinks everybody can do the job section. So, oh, yeah. That'd be cool. So let's, oh, let's go from there. It was probably like 2012, 2013. Honestly, I can't remember, but um, Avery and this other girl named Kate, she, uh, they were like all best friends, or they were the two best friends, and the role I really wanted that year was best friend. And I, I don't really know what happened in auditions, if I like wasn't, you know, didn't work as hard. I don't know, what, it, it, they just didn't see it in me. I wanted it so bad, it was like, like a jealousy feeling I got if anyone like else really wanted it. But I didn't get the part. And I went home on my bunk bed, I was on the top, and I cried for a really long time because I really wanted the part. Well, that's part of life, you know? I'm not gonna control anybody's emotions. I'm not here to tell them that they can't feel their emotions or their feelings. That's an individual thing, but I can teach them how to be able to be happy for somebody for the part they, they got. May I have your attention, please? The casting of the 2017 Awatuki Foothills Nutcracker Ballet. Welcome all to the magic of the land of sweets. Like I said, you never can expect it. But I had the like jealousy feeling, you know, when you're on the side watching them. Seeing the judges behind the table be like, oh, yeah, she's the one, and you're not that person. It's like that little, like, jealousy, like, upset feeling. The hard part about it, especially with Nutcracker, is some of these girls really want these important parts, but they don't always wear their point shoes, or they always have an excuse, or they don't show up to rehearsals, or they're not in classes during the week, or, or my elastic broke, or there's, you know, when it comes to the jealousy, and if someone else got a certain part, but they're working so much harder, there's nothing that we can do about it. You know, that's just plain and simple, real life. Okay, girls, there's no more excuses. Morgan, where's your point shoes? Okay, so, to show, what would we do? Okay? We have, we have got to start wearing point shoes, everybody. 
All right? There's no more excuses. Her ribbon broke, so I'm selling hers. So, where's yours? Do you have them here? Yeah. Okay, come on. All right, let's do it again. You know, you have to be able to take direction. You have to be able to produce very quickly. You have to be able to produce excellence. And I think that it goes hand in hand with her academia. When I come home after four hours in the studio and they know they've only got an hour and a half to get their homework done, they sit right down, get out their books and they get it done. There's no complaining about it. It's not even an issue in the household because they know they have to get it done and they've only got so much time. So the dance has really kind of helped them focus on all the other areas in their lives. I think dance has been really good for her. I think that um, she has to have obedience because, you know, there's lots of birthday parties going on or invites to things and um, she has to miss a lot because she's here on Saturdays, but she would, she, she's doing great. I mean, she loves to be here and her dedication and I think it's all great. When the girls are not at the dance studio training, you know, 25, 30 hours a week, if we have a weekend, um, like we have a really late night rehearsal on Wednesday, so then they could be here all weekend. They started last night at 7 o'clock, took class all night training with master teachers from all over the country, and then this morning they were up at 6 a.m. and they were back in class at 7.30, and they go straight through from 7.30 to 3 o'clock today, and same thing tomorrow to work on their training and their technique, to, which will help them, you know, on stage at the Nutcracker. So we go... impact their lives um, being part of these dance productions for confidence definitely the idea that they can be in such a big significant thing um, really makes them stand back and look at themselves and think wow look what I accomplished which is you know not a small feat there's a lot of work that goes into it so the confidence they get from the Nutcracker is just really life-changing for them and not only that but they're learning life skills from doing this I mean it's a commitment I mean there are many times where they get invited to a birthday or another event and they have to turn it down they've made a commitment and they understand that and they have to be here it's shaped like, you know, how I interact with different people, how I get out of my comfort zone. If I'm ever, you know, feeling down, feeling angry, I put it out on dance. And putting it out on dance makes me like happy or like dancing it out is great, but then like what I get back from doing that and just dancing in general, it's like this crazy feeling it's like full of happiness and joy. I don't know, relief. So great. <laughs> so it's affected me a lot. Even you can see the emotion in dance when you watch kids dance, you can see how much of them they put into dances. So it seems like to maybe an outsider that it's just a routine or just choreography, but to most of us it's so much more than that and it's kind of cool.
like a lot of parents know, the kids have very different personalities. The younger one is very outgoing and comfortable, and this just has given her that much more of a venue to go out and, and enjoy, you know, and thrive on that. The older one is a little more reserved, but this has given her the confidence and helped helped her grow. grow and and I don't like the word grow. This has helped her. Well, let me think about this for a second. How to describe it? She's talking a lot more, she's socially, she's much more interactive. Uh, she's, uh, you know, become more outgoing. She's definitely become a lot more outgoing, you can see that. And, uh, and you can even see her starting to develop some poise and grace from being involved in the dance world as well. I do this because I, that's what keeps me going, is to see kids improve and get feel proud of themselves for their success or th their growth. This has helped her find that piece of her that she may not have ever otherwise, otherwise found. The self-confidence to get up and perform in front of people or just to be, you know, take kind of a leadership role, I guess. Like, yeah, I don't like leadership role either. I definitely see dance, um, showing itself in many different ways for my daughter. She um, is on stage and she's comfortable on stage when it comes to speaking in front of large groups. She has that confidence to do so. Um, when it comes to being very structured and getting her schoolwork done, she has a short amount of time to get it done. And so from a time management perspective, she's able to get everything done for school. She's a straight A student. Uh, and I wouldn't expect anything less. Yes. It, it took some time to find what it was that they really wanted to do, um, both of my children. And once they did it, you know, we supported them by saying, okay, if this is what you want to do, we set the expectation. These are the things that are required of you. Is that what you want to do? And if they said yes, and we started doing them, as soon as they wanted to back out, let me give you an example with Jordan. She wanted to try, again, expanding her repertoire. She wanted to try hip hop. She tried hip hop when she was younger. She didn't like it. So she wanted to drop the class. And I said, no, you said that this is what you wanted to do and you're gonna finish it. You're gonna finish the session. And when the session is up, if you choose that you don't wanna renew that session, you know, for the spring, fine, don't renew it. But you're gonna finish what you're doing. Um, we've done that with our son too, and it really is having them start creating a focus. Dance, no matter what anybody says, is a sport. These are athletes, these are strong athletes, and it's a commitment and it's the training that goes into preparing for the Snowcracker. <laughs> Not only is this just my effort, but it's also my parents' effort. Like, not just with expenses, but just little things that you don't think about. Like, my mom will spend hours steaming costumes just so that they look perfect. We have an industrial-sized steamer at our house, and she brings her mini ones to all the performances. It's just the little things that she does make such a huge difference. It takes a village, and luckily with a lot of other moms and a lot of help from my husband, um, we make it work. Um, the kids are awesome with dealing with her, so um, she basically lives 
here on Saturdays and just kind of goes with the flow and I really don't have to worry about her much. Um, it gets difficult with like the side performances because I can't work and be mom all the time. It's hard to wear two hats at the same time, but I make it work. All of us in the family work, so it's, and then there's some, some Saturdays that people are working, and so uh, there's a lot of organization as far as that planning schedules, who's available to take Alexa to uh, dance lessons, we're, and we're do, dance lessons are involved in this process too, as well as all of her rehearsals. It is a big commitment on the parents' part because it's not just about going to Nutcracker rehearsal on Saturdays and Wednesdays and Fridays whenever we hold a rehearsal. It's getting them to all the required ballet classes and not just ballet classes, musical theater, tumbling classes, lyrical, contemporary. They give up every single solitary Saturday starting the end of August, not only Saturdays, but sometimes Sunday, Wednesday night from August until opening night, which is December 16th, they miss out on birthday parties, school events, family gatherings, because they're in rehearsal every Saturday from 7.30 a.m. until 4 p.m., sometimes on Wednesday nights, sometimes on Friday nights, and then we do a lot of charity events starting in November. So this is a full-time commitment for them. I would say that you have a choice if you want to be given that responsibility. And here at Dance Studio 111, you get taught how to handle that responsibility and how to be a responsible person. Your heart tells you what you want, follow it, work hard, and if it's something you truly want and you can truly work for, eventually it will come to you. You know, sometimes it gets really hard, like sometimes at school I dance every day and I'm just like, I can't do this today. And then I think of my mom and how, what she would say and like, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Regardless of what's happening, if there's something that you want to do, you do it. Um, so. <clears throat> there are times where things happen that personally bring you down. Um, I have battled cancer for a while. Um, conquered the damn thing. <laughs> and what I did, everybody was uh, during, you know, surgeries and treatments and shit, I just had surgery a couple months ago again. and. It's for me to know that I can still do things. It's to demonstrate to my ch children, Jordan, my son Peyton, that even though things happen to you, it's not the end of the world. Um, there's still people who count on you, who love you, who support you. And you also need to prove to yourself, and I think this is where Jordan really has picked up of you have to sh show yourself that regardless of what happens, you get up and you continue on with what you love. So I love my family. So regardless of what happens, I get up and I continue on with my family. And now we welcome the Nutcracker. starts off like pretty smooth, pretty like freshly paved road and then you kind of get like a couple bumps and then like after Thanksgiving it's like it's, <laughs> it's a bumpy road. <laughs> um, I think again just the stress, the added stress onto it. Um, oh it kind of 
escalates into this big thing. Like all of a sudden we're bringing out the costumes and the makeup and it's a huge event. Even just like events like this morning, it's difficult. It's, it's a little bump. <laughs> excited. Yeah. It is so surreal thinking we started in August and everything that we've done between August till this weekend in December. How it all comes together and I'll tell you it's exciting. The word again surreal. Rewarding. The like accomplishments have all been achieved. And it just feels really good, really good. Very happy, very happy. It's just been a beautiful four months. This cast is amazing. All the parents are amazing. My team, Miss Jill, our artistic director, and Miss Megan. There would be no show without them. Our prop designer, John Nevison, our costume designer, Deanne Nevison. It takes, it takes a village to do this show, and that's what we have here. It's, a, it's definitely a family.
it's so hard to even believe that these are children dancing these roles. I mean, they truly are professional ballerinas. I, I mean, really, really is a professional ballet. It's, it's just amazing, the talent that is up on that stage. And to see it all just come together, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, Megan, make sure they don't make sure they don't forget the chairs. All right, it's showtime. Here we go. No, we saw it that way first. You're welcome. Love you. Love you too. That way. Okay, wait. Let's get Clara ready. Clara, come here. So I can I need I need bobby pins. This is wrong. <laughs> Hold on. I have this back pedal, right foot first. Back pedal, right foot first. Back weight to this, uh -huh. and then you stop right to go that direction first. Nope. What? Look at, can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, this one. Yes. This is the first time. Yes. No, 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 no. still. Okay, you're getting this blue box. Hold on. Okay, go ahead and start. Go ahead. supposed to be watching them. <gasps> freeze, freeze. Good, Kaya. Hold it, freeze, freeze. That's gotta look so much better. Does that look good? Oh my gosh, their lines are perfect today. I'm gonna cry right now when we just started. Oh, I'm so emotional.
Well, I'm a, t a school teacher. Uh, I teach middle school, and one of my students asked me to come and watch the show. So I'm here for the first time. And how, how this is your first time? Yeah, first time I've ever seen it. So how do you like it so far? Um, I, I'm really impressed. It's really, really good. Um, I wasn't sure because I've never been to ballet before, but um, it's very, um, it's, it's enlightening. It's something I haven't experienced, and I think it's wonderful. And, uh, you know, uh, how much work do you think went into all of this? Oh, I was absolutely thinking about that. The preparation must have been very intense. Had to be. Yeah. Um, and uh, do you think this actually, uh, by, by them, you know, doing ballet and all of this, this whole production, do you think this is actually helping them in their future? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think it discipline um, that you can only achieve things through hard work. So for the kids, I think it's marvelous. I really do. I think it's terrific. And so uh, would you recommend this uh, this ballet to anyone else at all? Absolutely. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I, th I, you know, I was thinking I'd love to see more boys involved in it because I think it's great. Um, but I, I would recommend it for, for just about any kid. Absolutely. How did you like everything? Oh, I loved the ballet. It was wonderful. My first time seeing it. First time seeing it. Wow, you're like the second person that has told me that. So, uh, so as a first timer, what, what, what exactly did you think, and what was your favorite part? Um, I would say my favorite part was the Candyland. I thought that was really good. Uh, also, as a first timer, did you uh, have, have you seen any other? Uh, Nutcrackers besides this one? I haven't, no. No? Okay, uh, all right. Well, do you think uh, there was a lot of work that went into and that was involved in this? Oh, absolutely. I think there was a lot of work. Yeah, and the costumes were beautiful. I loved the music. I thought, I was really impressed. Yeah, um, so do you think this is preparing them for their future at all? Oh, I think so, yeah. I mean, these guys are young, but they're off to a good start. Uh, how do you think it's preparing them for their future? I think by showing them how demanding it is and how their schedules have to change and they have to fit in schoolwork with also doing the athletics of this, it's really important, yeah. Yes, that's, that's true. And as your daughter is in this, uh, you, know, what were some, you know, what were some of the conflicts that she uh, ran into? Um, just late night rehearsal sometimes, um, injuries, you know, sometimes just feeling like her toes hurt. <laughs> um, but other than that, no, I think she enjoyed it. She had a really good time. Well, um, thank you for stopping by. Um, thanks again. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Absolutely. I have uh, tickets for tomorrow, too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm here all day, so. Okay, all right. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.
it was flawless. I couldn't even keep up with all the social media postings and text messages and phone calls last night. I had phone calls coming in at two in the morning of people just raving about the show. Could be a lot of tears today though. I have four graduating seniors that this is their last Nutcracker and they started dancing at the studio when they were two and three, four years old. Very hard. My heart is happy, but breaking at the same time. I'm gonna try and be strong and not have too many tears, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a very emotional day. Happy, but very emotional. Your daughters have a little something for you. And... <laughs> Tell me your voice, okay? <laughs> okay. Dear Mom. Dear Mom. I want to thank you so much for all that you have done for me. I am so lucky to have an amazing mom like you. I hope you know that everything you do for me and our family doesn't go unnoticed. The things you do for me are unreal. From waking me up in the morning, how to go to practice. Getting dresses, costumes, and taking care of me when I'm sick. To helping me find the perfect pair of points. I could go on and on. I can remember the year I was Claire's best friend. You decided to be a party mom and got an allergic reaction to the eyelash glue. And then decided the year after to never do it again. You are my mom, but also my best friend that I will always need. I just wanted you to know that I appreciate everything you've done for me. I feel very special to have you as my mom. You deserve the world and nothing less. But I want you to know how much you mean to me. Thank you for putting me through ballet classes and letting me be a part of the Nutcracker and make some of the best lifelong memories. I love you so much. <laughs> I wake up every day and I get excited to get in my car and go down to my dance studio and start my day. To me, that is success to me. It's not just about teaching dance at the Dance Studio 111. It's about preparing them for life. And I think as you can see from following us the last four and a half months, there's so much more that goes into it than just the dance training. I'm very proud of them. I'm excited for the next chapter in their life, but it's also heart-wrenching to say goodbye. And it's, gonna, it's a beautiful thing, but it's gonna be, look at me now, it's very hard. It's gonna be very hard, but very proud because I know that they're prepared to handle any situation that comes their way, anything.